Hi, my name is Trent Thomason. I work for Pro System Brakes in Mooresville. We are part of the Alcon Group, uh, which has been in business for over 30 years, uh, as well as Pro System has been around for about 30 years. Uh, both have been heavily involved in brakes in the motorsports business. Um, we have been involved in all the upper echelons of, of motorsports, be it Formula One, uh, NASCAR, professional sports car racing, uh, you name it, and we have manufactured and, and had brakes on those vehicles. Um, we're now getting into uh, more of the Saturday night short track stuff, and we have a line of brakes that um, work well for that, and I'd be glad to show those to you now. This, this particular brake uh, actually started life as a brake for uh, Trans Am 2 cars. Uh, basically, a Trans Am 2 is a series uh, that they have a, a, a price break on the, on the, on the brake system. In other words, you can't put a $5,000 caliper on the car. It has to cost a certain amount. Um, Alcon made this particular caliper for that series. Um, and a Trans Am 2 car is very, very similar to a super late model. Um, the, uh, the mounting is the same. Uh, so there's a lot of, lot of similarities between a super late model and a Trans Am 2 car. Uh, the only difference is, uh, the big difference is that a Trans Am 2 uh, performs on road courses across the country. And uh, given that, and given that the, the brakes are really taxed on road courses with a, with a very fast, very high horsepower car, the brakes have to, to really work and be a, a very good quality brake. We had this and we're on about probably 90% of all the Trans Am 2 cars and they work very well there. Uh, so given the fact that they will mount up without any, any, um, any other work to a super late model, uh, we decided to uh, pursue this, this series as well, uh, late models around the country. And I've got them on some cars across the country. They're working extremely well. Um, the drivers love them, say the feel is great. Um, it's a little bit different from a particular caliper they might be used to. It takes a slightly different pad, but the pad is is um, readily available in any any brand that you want to buy, be it Hawk or PFC or, or any, of the, any of the flavors that we carry. Uh, the calipers, um, they are, uh, it's a staggered piston design, four piston design. It's a radio mount. It's an inch and a half piston by an inch and five eighths uh, bore. Uh, that seems to work really well with this. We typically, if you're starting building a new car, we'll typically recommend uh, two seven eighths inch master cylinders to start with. Uh, that seems to be a good combination and a good balance. Um, if you have a combination that you already run, uh, for instance, um, an inch in the rear and a seven eighths in the front, I would probably recommend keep that and change the brakes. And then, if you don't like that after you change the brakes, go to the two seven eighths. But keep change one thing at a time if you're going to a new system on a, on a car you already have. We also uh, manufacture the rotors that you see here. Um, one thing that's unique about them that. Uh, no one else has is uh, we, we burnish everything at Pro System uh, before we, we sell it. Uh, that's the rotors, the pads, every, anything you buy from us is pre-burnished on our, on our computer control dyno. Uh, as far as I know, no one else is doing that. Uh, I think you can probably get it with some manufacturers, but it's an extra cost. This is included in the price of our product. Um, it makes a huge difference, uh, especially in the rotor. It's a huge difference in durability and it's a big difference in performance. And um, just about down to the man, uh, the people who have purchased the rotors and put them on and they've run something else have come back and said they felt the difference in the bite. And I had guys to come back after running the rotors for a year and say they look still look brand new. Um, had no issues with them and that's been a really uh, a home run for us as the rotors.